Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, I'm happy you landed here. Yeah, come in the comments, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, I do want to send out um, just some special good energy uh, to anyone who has been impacted by uh, Hurricane Helene. Kind of started in my region, so from Tampa to Atlanta and Asheville to Nashville, millions and millions of people have been impacted by this storm, so forgive my sort of um, pared down look. It's been stressful. So uh, yeah, let's send everyone lots of love and positive energy as they recover and um, try their best to get through such devastation and loss. Okay. So um, on that note, let's pull from Divine Master's Oracle and see what Divine Master is coming through for you today. This is for all of you watching. You have Isis reclaiming magic call back your power and what is rightfully yours love me some isis yes call 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 back your power and what is rightfully yours mm -hmm. good message so um we are really right now in the energy of the new moon in libra solar eclipse coming up on october 2nd um, so I'll be doing a special reading for that, of course. And so this whole series of readings has been dedicated to more of the energy of like what lessons have been, what have we been learning in past relationships or the one you're here to watch about? What baggage are we carrying? What do we need to release? What's blocking us? Um, what do we need to forgive? What self-love should we be working on right now? So I'm calling it sort of a pseudo shadow spread of sorts. Um, it is more focused on your stuff, okay? In the, in the extended, I'll be looking at the dynamics in the relationship you're here to walk, watch about, and of course that's optional. But this is really important because we're moving from that full moon in Pisces with the lunar eclipse to this new moon in Libra. So where we're folk, we're entering, we're in the eclipse wormhole, but we've got this lunation that's going to kick off six months all around letting go of past junk around relationships. So I think it's kind of important to focus on what we, you know, what's the baggage. All right, here we go. I'm going to pull the cards, right, the lesson, but of course, um, the baggage. Yeah, not being able to move forward, maybe. No victories. Everything feels like loss. Um, what to release? Hmm. The block. Well, this is an Aquarian card. Very interesting. I'm feeling like there's lost hope here. What to forgive? The unavailable lover. Yes, and self-love starts with, yeah, forgiving ourselves sometimes, right? Like the cat has not gotten on board yet, that my nerves are frayed. <laughs> he doesn't understand, um, right? Because the, the Page of Cups is sweet and tender and gentle. Messages are pure of intention, um, are um, sincere. But this card often comes through as messages of love or apology. So that's why I said, you know, your self-love, what do you need to work on is, you know, being tender with yourself. Okay. So as I said, um, the lesson from past relationships or within this relationship that you're here to watch about. Um, yeah, the pain. Yeah. Like just heartache after heartache, disappointment after disappointment. So let's get some clarifiers around that. And you're not the only one, yeah, to get that card in that position. So there we have it. 
whether it's you know in each new love scenario it ha it just happens to break your heart um but it can also be that in sense of um like you can't even wrap your your heart around the construct of the love of my life or you know the the, the gift of a one true love because it's so um that's the lesson right that you keep learning in the baggage we're going to get to that in a second so let's see um nine of cups interesting and the hanged man like it feels Oh, what he's up to feels like there's no wish fulfillment everything's just like you're in the matrix perpetually on hold you're trying to find some enlightenment why there's no progress why things just kind of only get so far and then it stops um and that nine of cups coming in as as almost reversed right um Mm. this feels pretty powerful since the baggage is there's no progress there's no forward motion so let's see what are you potentially carrying around from this lesson page of pentacles and the chariot again and their queen of cups underneath once again, I got to open my heart again. I got to be vulnerable again. Um, and I have to start from square one again. It just feels like the baggage is there's no forward motion. There's no victory. There's not like I'm not, not getting anywhere. I'm going nowhere fast <laughs> is the baggage because it's almost as if um, you only get so far. There's no real wish fulfillment because somebody grows complacent. And so that's where we get hung up. I don't think you're the one that grows complacent, my love. I don't. I feel like that's the heartache is that you feel like, oh, this is this, this is it. This is the one. And then whoever they are is like, yeah, no, the, you know, I'm happy with the way things are. And so nothing progresses. And we stay in this level of stagnation. Nothing progresses. And that's the baggage is back to the drawing board. Um, so yours is pretty interesting because it keeps requiring you to sort of um, put your heart on the chopping block, open, you know, open that heart, and, uh, and that's hard. Be vulnerable again. So what do we need to release? What do you need to let go of from either these past relationships and this baggage, etc., or from within the connection that you find yourself? Hermit. Well, I love that we have from the, you know, from the main spread, we have the hermit and from the bottom of the deck, which for those of you who are new, when I pull from the bottom of the deck, I'm tapping into unconscious awareness or something that plays out behind the scenes. Either way, you can't see it. So I'm trying to give you a sneak peek into that. But I like that this high priestess comes through because that's intuition. That's some kind of inner knowing. You, you know, the inner knowing, the connectedness to the divine, right? Where... The her hermit is <coughs> sort of our earthbound wisdom, our insight, our intuition. Uh, not our intuition, our insight, our introspection, sorry. And so these two are pretty interesting because they're kind of coming at the same process by different means. And in the middle of all that is this Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups and the Passion and the the divine gift of inspired passion to go for broke for my happily ever after, right? So if you're being guided to release something, it's almost as if you hide out from it. You sort of retreat, right? Because what you've been sort of um, trained or, um, oh, I'm looking for the word somebody's going to say it out loud and i'm going to pick it up um 
conditioned, thank you. What you've been conditioned to do is believe this is impossible, right? So when the opportunities come, you know, and you think, oh, I'm gonna have my happily ever after, this is right where you go, no, I'm not. No, I'm not, because I'm just gonna have to go back to the drawing board. Nothing's gonna happen, not gonna progress, and right, my little inner qu queen of cups is just gonna shut down because I know it's not available for me, and I'm just gonna get stuck in some stagnant situation. So you retreat. You don't even get, you don't even go out the front door. So there's a little reclusivity, a little being off the grid, not available, not approachable. That's what needs to be released. But what you're, it's specific. It's a specific thing. Um, and so on some, on some internal level, it's like your intuition is telling you, no, 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 don't, don't go for that. That's what needs to be released is, is the, is what you're telling yourself and you think it's your intuition, but it's really not. It's like you're burying this. You're burying it. You're not listening to your intuition, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. You have the capacity, but you're not. Instead, you're just pulling yourself off the grid. That's what you need to release. Because the block that comes, if you don't release it, the block is that you're losing hope that you can find your one true love or that you're available for that or that it's available for you. It's too hard. There's too much competition out there, uh, right? There's this sense, and I love that we get two cards associated with the sign of Aquarius. The fool is the planet Uranus which rules Aquarius, and there's like um, almost too much risk involved because there's too much competition or tension or conflict. Um, the Queen of Pentacles underneath is that sense of the feminine archetype of a life partner, right? And so the whole notion of coupling, the whole notion of building a life with someone, you've sort of tamped it way, way down. Um, and so I feel like the block is around taking a chance, right? Going for it, taking a leap for love, taking a leap for something that would lead to life partnership. Uh, I'm feeling, lo I felt lost hope when I f first pulled the card. It's not sort of presenting that way with the clarifiers. So I'm getting a little bit of a mixed bag that's more about the risks um so okay that's the block we'll go with that because i'm drawing off your energy so you're leading the way but it's coming from a sense of a repeat of investing in the the, the notion of one true love but then it never goes anywhere it just kind of withers on the vine um languishes on the vine is the, the phrase right and no progress and back to the drawing board and you're just done with that. So that's why you see it as a risk. You're not investing in the dream, it's too risky. So let's see what you need to forgive, King of Wands. Yeah, the one who doesn't invest in you, the one who walks away, the unavailable lover, the person who resists at all cost and leaves you kind of, you know, sleepless nights and worry and constant anxiety and that that tells you it's just not worth it the dream it's not worth it so you have the block and you need to kind of forgive this sort of sense of um well not just forgive the person but forgive this process that you've been putting yourself through um you know how sometimes I feel like I had this conversation very, very recently with my own daughter and um, very upset in a, you know, obviously in a romantic situation. And she was like, well, I'm just done with all of this. And, you know, my response is her mom was like, no, I mean, this is only your, you know, whatever number serious relationship and, you know, your picker's a little bit off. 
You know, because that's what my mother once said to me. Your picker's off. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Your picker's a little bit off. It will get better over time, right? And so that's kind of what I'm saying here. Forgive, forgive yourself because, yeah, maybe your picker's a little off, right? You're, you're picking some, some resistant people that aren't, you know, quite ready to invest in something more long term or aren't really ready to move towards some form of life partnership or the happily ever after. And, you know, that are a little bit more self-involved. And so the minute you fly into this energy of obsessed adjacent, worrying, anxiety, fretting, sleep, like sleepless nights, you know that's a sign like, uh-oh, right? Like now you have it as a signal, the red flag that tells you, ah, danger, Will Robinson, because mm -hmm. it's not supposed to feel this way. So forgive yourself for not recognizing that because it's a process. And I don't care if you're 23 or 73, it's still a process, right? 63 in the house, and like, I understand that you, doesn't matter how old you are, it, the, the picker has to, un, has to learn. And then has to learn a little quicker and then a little quicker and then a little quicker before finally it goes, ah, yeah, here I am up in the middle of the night, checking my phone, checking this, checking, yeah, nope, I'm not supposed to be doing this. And then I've learned quicker than I did the last time, quicker than I did the time before that. That's what I think you're supposed to forgive, okay? So yeah, forgive the ones who walk away. They, they just don't know. And then forgive yourself for not noticing it sooner, letting it get that far, okay? And your self-love, what you need to work on here, ah, oh. Yes, and it comes through with the repeat patterns that blow up in your face over and over because forgive yourself for letting them back in over and over and accepting the apology over and over when you know you needed to ask more questions, when you know you needed to be a little bit more, hmm, right? A little bit more straight no chaser. Like I have unanswered questions here, but instead, like this comes through way different than I thought it was going to. So your self-love begins with, yes, forgiving yourself for allowing the pattern to repeat because it only blew up in your face. Okay. So I do see the pattern here of, um, of the in, it can be in and out, but it can also be just a pattern in relationships over time. So that's what I've got for you. That is very fascinating. Um, not too dissimilar to a lot of the other readings, um, but definitely has its unique Aquarian stamp on it. Even if you're here as a cross watcher, by the way, this can be your message. Somebody asked me that the other day, and I'm like, no, you're not here as an eavesdropper. This could be your, your story, because I'm drawing off the energies of those of you watching. That's the whole point. So what I'm going to do is um, take it to the extended now and look at who you came to, the relationship you came to watch about. This was for you, so that you can get down into the weeds of it all. Look at the lessons, look at the baggage, release what needs to be released, acknowledge the block, forgive what needs to be forgiven, focus on your self-love. So when we get to the new moon in a couple days and you start setting intentions, you know like it's a, it's a solar eclipse and I know what I'm working on for the next six months because I want the love I deserve instead of the BS that I've gotten. I'm done with that, okay? Um, in the extended, and the links are below for that, there are three different options. It says option one or two or three, so make sure you check that out. Uh, well, I'm going to look at your energy and your block in the relationship, their energy and their block in the relationship. I'm looking at the relationship dynamics itself, um, a message of divine uh, guidance from spirit, 
Um, also, the outlook for how things might unfold in the relationship going forward. So the links are below. If you have enjoyed this reading um, or other readings and you've been watching for a while and you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe below. Help me stay on this channel, um, grow the channel so I can continue to do what I love to do the most. All right. You've all li literally been my sanity for the last few days of the nightmare that was Helene. So thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'm going to head to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.